okay let us do the experiment a stable multi vibrator okay for approximately 2 kilohertz frequency now for this uh, as you see in this uh, we are using two npn transistors bc547 0.01 microfarad capacitors 0.01 microfarad capacitors two in number 33 kilo ohms quarter watt resistance two in number i write 1 by 4 watts this is also quarter watt this is 3.3 kilo ohms resistor two in number <coughs> let us now start connecting on the breadboard so stretch the terminals emitter and the collector middle one is the base this is uh, the first one emitter terminal this is the right one and the left one is the collector terminal now in this breadboard let us select the bottom the, this is second half portion to make the connections easy so insert two transistors like this then take uh, two 3.3 kilo ohms resistance then connect it from the collector terminal to the okay let us take let us assume that the upper line is the positive where we give power supply connection positive terminal similarly to the second transistor also now take 33 kilo ohm resistor just adjacent to that connect it in the breadboard so you need to insert the components very tightly so that see just you can when you try to lift the component it will the breadboard will also come up okay now again here also 33 kilo ohms towards the left of the resistor 3 3.3 kilo ohms then between the two terminals of the resistors that is from transistor collector to the 33 kilo ohms resistance connect one capacitor like this here one more capacitor okay so this way yeah some problem with this terminal it is not going inside just wait yeah right so the connection is uh, done properly now uh, as per the circuit diagram shown on the board let me make all this you know the both the emitter terminals tied together are connected together here i am selecting this second half as ground this will go to the negative terminal of the battery that is regulated power supply <coughs> now connect the junction of resistors 33 kilo ohm and the capacitor of one transistor towards one transistor to the base terminal of the other transistor then here take one more connection of this kind connect the base terminal of this second transistor to the junction of 33 kilo ohms and the capacitor over here so this is about the circuit diagram now we need to give the input and output that is the power supply connection and the output connection to the cro i am using 10 volts volts power supply that i connect to it or connect it as the vcc value then uh, second one is from the ground i need one uh, this uh, this wire is good i think so and connect it here this will go to the ground terminal of the circuit then bnc cable please so cro connection i'll give it here first ensure that this connector is uh, 
this connector has continuity so connect it here and uh, put it at some two okay two volts are like that and you should see a square wave then you assume that this is you can confirm that this cable is good then proceed with the circuit take the negative terminal from the circuit board then positive from the collector of either of the transistors it doesn't matter which one you take okay so here you give connection like this on giving connection you have to just turn on the power supply is very important yeah so now radio is the amplitude you can see some waveform isn't it so it is showing you a square wave this curve we get because of rounding okay this can be eliminated little later i'll explain you in next uh, lecture so this is the output of an adjustable multi vibrator which is a square wave now you need to adjust this little above to measure the amplitude you can see two boxes here okay multiplied by 5 okay volts per division this gives you 10 volts and we have applied approximately 10 you can you can just adjust it here to make it 10 no issue and 9.7 okay little less or more it doesn't matter with this so we are getting 10 volts applied and at almost 10 volts as the amplitude of this square wave okay then we have <coughs> on and off here what you are getting is the on pulse and this is the off okay this is uh, almost a square wave with rounding of course this can be eliminated now what i do just adjust it little so that let me call this as a off time okay of this wave square wave form what i am getting so how much i can read is two boxes here okay two boxes multiplied by you can see here it is showing 0.1 microsec sorry 0.1 milliseconds on the time base okay so you need to write down the values there so this is for t on t on write down t on it will be uh, sorry this is t off okay off time of this square wave it is uh, 0.1 into multiplied by 10 to the power of minus 3 that is milliseconds 0.1 milliseconds okay so multiplied by two boxes multiplied by 0.1 milliseconds you get for the t of time so on time just from here only you can count on the left side here 1 1.8 yeah 1.8 again the time division is 0.1 milliseconds okay so 1.8 multiplied by 0.1 milliseconds is the of time okay to calculate the time period as i explained add both the t on and t off or q might have written t1 and t2 add both you will get the time period okay then find the reciprocal of the of the time period you will get approximately 2 kilohertz calculate this and show it to me okay then you need to plot the graph taking voltage and hmm, time on and off it is 10 volts for the amplitude and then T on, T off for the time period. Remember scale for the x axis is in milliseconds. Time. A function of time, plot a graph and bring it in the next class.